Hi class, today the book that I'm going to be reading you is called Hats, 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 and it's written by Ann Morris, and the photographs are by Ken Heyman. Now, when we look at this book, we already noticed that this cover is much different than the cover illustration on this book. And I think that possibly the illustrations in this book are going to give me a clue about whether it's a fiction book or a non-fiction book. So I want you to think, if this book features photography, what kind of book do you think it is? A fiction book or a non-fiction book? So Hats, 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 written by Ann Morris, photography by Ken Heyman. Hats, hats, hats. See that these guys are wearing a different kind of hat. The world is full of hats. We've got a wide brim cap, a ball cap, this kind of hat. Soft hats. Hard hats. Now I noticed that these people that are wearing hard hats are doing something specific that possibly a hard hat would keep them safe. Sun hats. Like these hats. And then look, these people are all wearing different kinds of hats. Fun hats, mouse hat, a clown hat, work hats. Now these hats let us know maybe what these people's jobs are. So this lady is wearing a police officer hat. These ones are wearing a chef's hat. And I'm not sure what kind of hats these are, but I think that these ladies put things on top of their heads to carry it. Play hats. So we have horse riding hat and a cowboy hat and a ball cap. Ten gallon cowboy hats. <gasps> Snuggly warm hats. Scarves and hoods make hats. She's wearing a scarf. These two boys have funny hooves. And I bet maybe they're twins like my twins. Cover the head. So in some cultures, they have their heads covered at all times. So the women they wear, they wear um, shawls that cover their heads. The men wear, wear hats. See how they have their heads covered in their culture? There's a culture that's that um, a, a culture of people that live close to us where the women um, keep their heads covered with shawls as well. <gasps> they are beautiful. These ones are made of flowers in this culture. This little one has gold on his hat. And then back here, it talks about all the different kinds of hats and where they come from. So on page seven, I wasn't quite sure what kind of hat these boys were wearing. And it says that these boys are from Israel and they are reading Hebrew. They wear the yarmulk, the traditional head covering that all Orthodox Jewish men and male children must wear. And then another hat that I thought was kind of interesting was this hat where the ladies were working. And it says on page 16, these hats were from Indonesia. The, the workers in this wheat field in Bali are carrying winnowing baskets on their heads. The baskets will be used to separate the wheat from the chaff. So they, these hats are for a specific reason so that these ladies can do their job. The last hat that I was wondering about was, um, was this hat with the lady with the, with the baby and then she wore kind of a funny flat hat. These hats are from Peru. It says, even though this baby doesn't seem to be enjoying it, he is well protected by his handwoven blanket and cap. The shape of the mother's hat 
allows her to carry large objects on her head. So she can put like a container of water and let it sit flat on her head. Let's go back and look at that hat. So her hat is shaped flat like that so that she can put containers of, the, of heavy things on top of her head where she can't put anything on her back because of her little baby. Anyway, this hat was really great and it offered some really good information about the real hats that people wear around the world. I hope that I've given you some clues about what kind of book this is. A fiction book that's about make-believe things or a non-fiction book that's about things in real life that give us information. Discuss it with your families.